first order of business is to thank all of the artists who entered the contest. We don't have a show without you. Today I'm coming to you from the second annual Carolina's Got Art exhibition in Charlotte, North Carolina. Three of my pieces were selected for the exhibition this year, but right now, let's showcase the winners. previous states of the painting, of the painting as it evolves. And I, I think I always enjoy seeing that dialogue. I work in kind of an, uh, an abstract expressionist, uh, that philosophy is why we start with a blank canvas or panel and make a mark, respond to that mark, make another, respond to that mark. Um, so I never start with a vision, it's always very process oriented and the end result uh, happens intuitively through many layers. Very much about its own evolution. It's like if you look at it, and the longer you look at it, uh, the more you see it literally evolve before your eyes. To me, it's a, a painting largely about flexibility, about an artist who's really willing to question her own uh, vision. Hey, I'm Lindsay Brown. Uh, this is my piece, Equus. It is a ceramics mixed media sculpture. Uh, the mixed media, particularly being the nail. Kind of this, this wound that make it very much for me about the painting about flesh and about fragility. The rest of it is wholly ceramic clay. I use oxides, uh, mason stain, and oxides. I use decal and then hand painting as well to get a vein, a vein structure. Um, for the texture, I use netting, lace, and stamp. Marks upon the surface, and there's almost like petroglyphs or, or some kind of writing that goes on. And so, I, I think it has a lot of different kind of cultural reference that are really filtering into the piece. Equus is a play, and it was a book as well, and it's actually been made into a movie also. And the play actually was recently resurrected on Broadway. It's about a character, Alan Strang. He had strict religious implications placed upon him, and it was the dichotomy of his religious implications as well as what he wanted to do. I am fascinated by works of art that are kind of unpleasant, but still they're beautiful. That are, are, are maybe kind of, we, 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 the artist shows us something that's probably not something we want to look at necessarily, but it's crafted it and made it in such a way that's very compelling that it becomes hard to resist. does with paint isn't so simple in terms of the kind of the really the hefty brains, not only to color, but to the surface of the paint, which tends to be this very rich model of the surface. Mm -hmm. 